I will share uh, the Thai USC experience, and these are the two short objectives. One is to answer the question, what, what is the USC trajectory in progressive realization of USC in the past 20 years? And what are its outcomes, interbox trends and international benchmark before and after key uh, indicators? And the five moderately reduced, I'm also reduced. GDP per capita increased significantly. Um, the fiscal space increased from 13 to 16 percent of GDP, our uh, general tax revenue. Total health spending as percent GDP also increased. Uh, per capita expenditure increased very significantly during uh, the past uh, uh, 10 years or so. Public expenditure as percent GDP increased from 61 to 78 percent. That means government has um, special intention to invest in health of the people. Our pocket payment re reduced from 33% of THE to 12%, much better than uh, OECD average of 18-19% of THE. So that means the indicator of OP, small percent of THE, indicate that the catastrophic and health impoverishment should be very small. And general government health expenditure as percent of government expenditure also increased from 10.5% to 17%. And Thailand, this figure of 17% rank among top 10 worldwide uh, expenditure on health using uh, government uh, budget. So what are the progressive realization of USC? We have published uh, this in a number of uh, articles and books. Uh, one is BMC 2015 BMC Medicine. From uh, a deep reflection, we found that we have two strands of health development. One is first and foremost infrastructure development. Ensure service is available. You may recall the triple AQ, AAAQ. Available, accessible, acceptable, and good quality. So this has been invested since 70s, 1970s. We also have a strong policy to have equitable access to health facility by a functioning primary health care centers for a population of 5,000 people at the sub-district. And we have uh, about 10,000 districts throughout the country, and we have more, more than... Uh, 11,000 health centers, primary care centers, which is the hub of um, primary care services and translate policy into actual good outcome, health outcome, and produce more number of doctors and nurses and other cadre of health workforce and ensure equitable distribution through multiple intervention on rural detention, for example, um, rural recruitment of students from ethnic minorities, from Muslim communities for training, and hometown placement. So that has been implemented since 72, 1972 until today. So that means we have every district hospital and sub-district uh, adequate number of high qualified health workforce. So that is one of the key policy messages this morning. <laughs> Second is on expanding financial risk protection using targeting approach. For the formal sector employee, we apply payroll tax finance scheme, social health insurance, the conventional ILO type uh, system, social health insurance. For the informal sector, we uh, start with CBHI, Competitive Based Health Insurance Premium Contribution. And later, we uh, government step in uh, public uh, subsidies 50%. For the poor um, and disadvantaged, disabled, elderly people, we use tax finance scheme, free at public service for everyone who are the poor. Using mean testing, uh, we start this since 1975. And finally, 
by 2001, we have 30 percent of people are still uninsured, despite the fact of uh, effort to expand um, financial risk protection coverage. Then come to USC in 2001. So explain explain you on health delivery and health workforce development start first with um, 1942 until today's. Yesterday we talked about trust in health services. I would say that there is no absenteeism in the Thai health system. If you just come across and pop in unnoticed, and see, we have um, doctor, nurse, and other health workforce there. The key policy message is to fix the supply side. In an untimely manner, implementation of USC, like in Indonesia, health service is quite inequitable distribute across island. There's plainly no service in Papua, but in Papua, in small, remote island. Therefore, USC, the outcome is pro rich, and that catastrophic outcome of pro rich is catastrophic. And give a bad name of USC. That why we bought the USC, and the outcome is pro rich. Therefore, the timely manner of implementing USC is so critical. So that is our 30 years, 40 years of trajectory and deep reflection. It is a right in the paper. If service is not there, if the qualified service is not there. Is absenteeism still rampant? If the health system is not responsive, so don't talk about USC. Fix the supply side and gradually fix the financial risk protection to prevent catastrophic and health impoverishment. This um, I will leave the PowerPoint and feel free to use uh, for your teaching uh, in in this school. The low income first and foremost was introduced uh, in 1975. The government employee scheme, the civil servant maker benefit scheme, started in 1980, and social insurance implemented in 1990 by law. And the CBHI type was implemented in parallel in around around uh, 1985, I think. We published this in a paper in uh, BMC. This paper from uh, IJHPM in 2017. You see the bottom 15% poor is legitimate for the government to use tax finance social welfare scheme. The top of the uh, pyramid of the population is the public and private formal sector employee. There should be a tax, a payroll tax finance scheme. The middle layer, which is the big middle layer in most developing countries, the informal sector, we have almost 70%. Actually, it's not 50% poor. We have more poor. But today, uh, the poverty is less than 7% using national uh, poverty line, 5 6%. So the policy choice is whether you squeeze from the top, that means you ask everyone to pay, or squeeze from the bottom, so that means it's the general tax that everyone pay through taxation prepayment, not premium contribution. Don't think about developing countries to achieve USC. If you introduce the informal sector group by asking them to pay the premiums, this key message go to Minister Health Secretary in Philippines. I challenge him that you will never achieve UC if you still keep on asking premiums from the informal sectors by many, many innovative methods. You have to reform your tax system, tax evasion, more progressive taxation, and use the tax as income equalization through financing health services and provide health security for, for all, for the whole citizen. 
minister will learn gradually that it is he will lean his back to the wall if the informal sector will go with premium contribution. Otherwise, do we need a government? We do not need a government if government is not doing its due responsibilities. Now I move to USC outcome. This comes from Lancet. Uh, you can download uh, 2017. Adam Wagstaff published three seminal papers, one, two, and three. So health insurance coverage, 2011. Um, you can see the blue chart. And light blue, light blue until 0.9% of the population. South Africa is doing quite well, our colleague here. India is around, um, the chart should be around below 50%, although you have done quite well on ISBY. Service coverage index, they use, um, I think, four cluster of service, CD, NCD, MNCH, and um, health system readiness. And each cluster uses four indicators, so it's a combination of 16 indicators on USC service coverage index and make it as a 100%, 100 score. And the more score, that means the health system is ready to provide, is ready, is available, it, it is used by people have trusted. Um, so more than 77% is the dark green. Now come to catastrophic health spending 2015. It's part of the SDG 3.8.2 indicator that UN member states have to report every two years to New York and to monitor the progress as we have done in the MDG monitoring. So on health 3.8 we have two indicators. One is catastrophic, and the other is um, service coverage. The light pink is less catastrophic. The dark red color is very high catastrophic. In China, 1.3 billion people are covered by one of the three insurance schemes. But the imp the benefit package is too shallow and the OOP is too high. The higher the OOP, the higher prevalence of catastrophic incidents. And this we measure by uh, OOP more than 10% of total household consumption. <coughs> Brazil also have achieved a full coverage of the population. But uh, the catastrophic is still high. It depends on how, de how we decide the benefit package and how we pay for services um, for the people. Health impoverishment is measured by the number of additional poor being <coughs> driven below the poverty line. In this case, using uh, international poverty line of 3.8. Ten international PPP dollar as a poverty line. The additional poor because of the medical bills. The light color, the less impoverishment. So that means the poverty prevention effect of the uh, financing, health financing is good and the dark red is not that good. So that is a mirror image of catastrophic health expenditure. The higher the catastrophic, the higher impoverishment. So this comes from international peer uh, comparisons. Now look at um, Thai trend of catastrophic health spending as measured by uh, more than 10% of total consumption expenditure. This comes from SES, which is a socio-economic survey uh, conducted by the country.
consistently go down even prior to 2001 USC. So that means <coughs> government through targeting, targeting, targeting population, venture protection, it has brought down the catastrophic incidents between 1990 and 2001. And after 2001, when we have a full coverage and full venture risk protection, it drives further catastrophic health spending down and down, up to down to 2.1% of the total household, 11 million, uh, 21 million households in Thailand. So 2% are facing catastrophic health expenditure, mostly by the rich household who opt out to seek private health services. This is so critical. I report this to Prime Minister. We are at the season today of the budget negotiation of the UC scheme. So the conventional economist who is the finance minister want to see what is the economic impact of, of the UC scheme. This is Gini index. On the x axis on the y axis is the Gini index. 0.4 to 3. 0.4 to 8 in 2001. And come down to 0.359. What is the what is explaining the going down of the um, improvement of the Gini index on consumption? It is the Gini index um, it is the con contribution of the spending on health. So that means health also contribute to um, reduction of Gini index by 0 0.139. So this is a powerful political message that we health, we mean health, USC, health uh, income redistribution. Impoverishment also reduce the bar refer to total number of impoverished household and the, um, the triangle uh, line is the percent of impoverished household. It is also a powerful message at the national level. At the sub-national level, in 1996, the darker shade, the higher impoverishment Left, middle, and right panel in 1996, 98, 2000, 2010, 2012, 2015. So we demonstrate the impoverishment impact, that means poverty prevention by UC scheme at the sub national level. So the Prime Minister felt, mm, so far so good. So I continue to support you. What about the health? Ex, um, health uh, outcome indicators in terms of life expectancy at birth increase. Of course, it naturally it will increase anyway, but we claim we are not over claim. We claim we claim that health also contribute to um, USA also contribute to life expectancy at birth. Uh, now we have seventy five percent on average, both gender. <coughs> improve OP visit and improve admission. The bar is the population covered by UC scheme. The remaining are covered by social health insurance and the government employee scheme. And the upper dot is uh, the total uh, number of uh, outpatient, 173 million a year in 2016. So these are the key outcomes that we publish in BMC Health, Public Health Bulletin of the WHO, or BMC Public Health. We have a low level of unmet health care need on par of with OECD average. And we have a study on um, decline of all costs debt between 2001 and 14, and also reduction in the inequity of adult mortality across uh, provinces. So Along the line of reform, we have to inform what are the outcome, the impact measurement, impact assessment. You see the gradual expansion. I look back uh, 2016, 15, 16, 
we introduce ART policy detect and treat at any CD4 count. Long term home and community care for frail elderly, home and community based psychiatric care. In 2013, we also expand seasonal flu vaccine and stem cell transplantation in leukemia and lymphoma with specific indicators. 12, we introduced liver transplant for hepatic failure. It is life saving and is so cost effective. And also heart transplantation. In 2012, implement uh, second prevention, second prevention of DM hypertension. All DM are bound to have uh, eye screening of um, uh, retinopathy. 2010, cover all often medicine and antidote into natural list of essential medicine. Psychiatric inpatient treat with low, no limit of length of stay. So this, as a result, it improved financial risk protection. Everything is free at pump service, no copay. So shameful that we, the UC scheme is operating in a turbulent political climate. We have discussed with our South African colleague here. UC scheme survived eight rival government, six election, two coup d'etat, and 13 health minister. I have working with 13 health minister all the time. And they are come from rival government. But I am here. And I will be there and to support and match our USC champion. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>